of the morning to you. Yes, we are in the month of March. I love this month so much. The St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Green is one of my all-time favorite colors. You know, I love this month a lot. I really, really do. One moment, please. I have a chair right here. Yeah, I'm I can actually adjust myself a lot better on the camera, I guess. But yes, it is St. Patrick's Day. I broke up my traditional green tie for the month of March. I am super duper excited. And I don't even know where to begin. Well, I actually didn't know where to begin because America's Got Talent Extreme was on last night. And there's actually another show on Netflix I want to talk about that I finished watching. And this one was really short, too. Only five episodes. But uh, first things first, let's get to my low, my high max of kindness. Um, let's see, what was my low? Well, I guess because I watched America's Got Talent Extreme, I got another late start to my day. But honestly, I'm not upset. I'm not really in a hurry for anything. So we're okay. Um, my high is the fact that, um, oh, well, I guess my high is the fact that we're in, Mar we're in March now. We are one-sixth of the way through the year. I can't believe it. So, that's really cool. Even though, technically, it was only 59 days. Like, we're definitely over a tenth of the way through the year. That, that, that's true. And uh, my act of kindness was uh, I actually helped carry something out for someone. So, uh, that was very nice. But, uh, enough about that. It's not only the first day of March. It's also Fat Tuesday. Yep, today's Mardi Gras. Well, technically Mardi Gras has been... If you really want to be technical, Mardi Gras has been celebrated for, like, the last week. But today is, like, the culmination of it all, called Fat Tuesday. And if you don't know what that is, um, actually, did I do my Happy Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Okay. If you don't know what Fat Tuesday is, basically, since Lent starts tomorrow, Lent is a time of, you know, giving up things, sacrifices. Like, Fat Tuesday is, like, your final opportunity to, if there's something that you know for a fact you're going to give up for Lent, like, do everything you can like, indulge, get it out of your system, so you can go into Lent knowing that you did all you could. And, obviously, I always say during Lent, on Fridays, you can't have meat. On Ash Wednesday, tomorrow, you also can't have meat. Oh, man. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be getting up super early because the mass I'm going to is gonna be, like, at 6.45 in the morning. Ah, boy. That isn't gonna be fun. But, I, but I'll get through it. Partly because tomorrow is also the late, great Sean Bertanzi's birthday. I'll talk about that more tomorrow. But um, fun, one more fun fact before I get into um, talking about America's Got Talent Extreme and another show I'm going to talk about. A traditional Fat Tuesday dinner, believe it or not, is breakfast for dinner. So you have bacon, eggs, sausage, waffles, pancakes... You name it, whatever you have for breakfast, you know, that is, you know, traditional Fat Tuesday fare for, um, for, uh, Mardi Gras dinner, for Fat Tuesday dinner. I actually learned that when I was at Trinity Pauly, believe it or not. In fact, it was before I went to Trinity Pauly, I picked out this tie. Yeah, a friend of mine from Horseheads is actually an inspiration for getting this tie, because of how proud of an Irishman he was. So, uh... Yeah, I thought of him. It was really cool. So, um, got to top America's Got Talent. Extreme. Yeah, it was extreme. Although I got a few, uh, I heard a lot more negative comments about this one than, um, than, uh, others. Especially when, like, the guys from Nitro Circus were, like, none of them crashed. So, Travis is like, what if you guys should have crashed? Like, Again, it was one of those, like, nitpicky type things. There was an escape artist who, like, he's on, like, top of a crane and he's got to get out of the cage before, like, the crane drops the cage that he's in and stuff. 
That was scary. That actually got me for a loop, I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, the coolest one ever was like a, uh, a professional stuntman who's like 24 years old. He's on a bike and he's going through like five walls of fire, right? But behind him, his grandma is riding with him. His 90-year-old grandma is holding on and riding through it. Okay, like, that grandma is like the goat of grandmas. Okay? Except for my grandma. My grandma, I love my grandmas. Both of my grandmas are still alive. I love them very much. So, take those two out of the equation. This grandma was awesome, dude. And she had like a, I, I want to say she had like a Scottish accent too, which was, which was awesome. Like really awesome. Like I was legit impressed with what I was seeing here. I got like nothing more to say, man. That, that was in incredible. Um, let's see what other acts really stood out to me. I mean, there was a lot of great acts last night, don't misunderstand me, I just, I just can't quite remember them all. Oh, right, the inline skating Frenchman, who, uh, who did, like, the 900 on inline skates, that was sick. Like, seriously, they're pushing the boundaries for, like, you know, extreme. I'm really digging the show so far. And the best part is, like, this isn't the, the quote, this isn't the yearly quota for America's Got Talent either. We're going to get the real show in a couple months. That's going to be really cool. Huh. Makes me wonder. Because America's Got Talent usually runs in, like, from June to, like, you know, August, September. Are they going to be able to do something like The Voice? I mean, I don't really watch The Voice except for, like, the auditions. But it makes me wonder, like, are they going to be able to have The Voice? I'm sure they will. Although I did hear that one... Although I did see that one show that, like, Kelly Clarkson and Snoop Dogg are going to be hosting where, like, the best singers from, like, each and every one of the 50 states are going to get together and sing. Like, that's going to be an awesome show. I'll definitely check... I definitely want to check that out. Speaking of shows I want to check out... Let's get into the new show I just recently watched on Netflix. Now, again, I only just got Netflix this year, so I'm really far behind on a lot of stuff. And fortunately, I gotta really want to see something to try and binge watch it through it all. So with that said, if ever I see like one of my all-time favorite actors or comedians or whatever, and they have a show, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. And... That's the case with the machine himself, Burt Kreischer. Now, he actually has a few stand-up specials on um, Netflix as well. And I've seen most of them. Not on Netflix, but I have seen most of them. But he actually had a, um, a very, very short miniseries called The Cabin with Burt Kreischer. Basically, the point of The Cabin is, you know, being a very famous and very busy comedian, you know, Burt Kreischer, you know, he jams a, a lot into his day. And when you have a profession like being a comedian, again, especially one as successful as Burt Kreischer, you know, you're not going to live the most healthy lifestyle. So this was sort of a way for, you know, him to unwind a little bit recharge his batteries, you know, relax, isolate, you know, do what you can, try and achieve balance in your life. And he makes a show out of it where he has uh, special guests come on and they do lots of funny stuff. Kind of, which kind of defeats the purpose of what his mission of being out there in the cabin was meant to be in the first place. Okay, I should probably tell you right now, how you like this show is whether or not you're a fan of Burt Kreischer. I love Burt Kreischer, so this show is great. But to give you a brief rundown of what usually happens in an episode, the episode will start off with like one of his guests appearing 
and he's either doing something really weird or he's just straight up naked. So that's the sort of show that you're getting yourself into if you're going to watch this. But you did learn, I did learn a lot, like, you know, watching the show. Like, like, we all need balance in our lives. You know, other important lessons that I did learn in spite of all the craziness that, you know, is going on is, you know, don't try and take too much, don't try and handle too much at once. I mean, they tried to dissect an emu and have it for dinner. Like, that's already too crazy. Um, sometimes, another thing I learned is, like, sometimes, like, if you want to achieve balance, like, there are different ways of going about, you know, doing it. And some people have different ways of going about doing it, as, um, Bobby, as Bobby Lee and, um, Donnell, I forget the other comedian's name, but that, that episode was important. One really important episode, this actually kind of got me thinking about a dream that, that I always have, is that sometimes when you want to imagine, like, man, wouldn't it be cool if, like, these people and these people, like, got together and, like, bonded and become friends? Sometimes that doesn't really work out. At least not in the way you'd want it to. Like, Kaylee Cuoco, uh, Miss Pat, and, um... I always forget the, uh, I forgot the last guy, but, like, they all got together, and they got along okay, but Bert Price was expecting them to be, like, become, like, great friends and everything, and it kind of didn't work out that way. Although, if you want to see the funniest thing ever, you got to see Miss Pat trying to take the fishing. That was great. That was probably some of the funniest stuff I ever saw. I was, like, dying laughing watching that. Um, yeah, honestly, this show is pretty solid. And anyway, I should probably, because, like, one dream I always used to have myself is, like, I've always wanted, like, my brothers from Trinity Poly to meet up with, like, a bunch of really good people I know from Horseheads. Like, them get together and be friends. I mean, I like to think it'd work out better than what you see in the cabin. But I guess there's always that, like, just because you want something to, you know, take place, doesn't mean it won't happen overnight. You gotta let it happen naturally. Or, I mean, not like it happened in the cabin, like, it's like, different people getting together isn't always guaranteed to work out. It's rare to the point where it's like they completely hate each other upon like leaving each other. It's not that bad. But it definitely gives you some perspective in life like, man, like, this could be like really like different and strange. You know, I, I honestly can't think of um, like anything that's like weirder. Or anything. Like, you get the idea. So. As crazy and, because here's the thing, there is no way Bert Kreischer remotely accomplished anything he said to do in the cabin. Not even remotely. And I think that was like part of the fun of it. I mean, the series literally ended with him, like, like he, like he, like he used a technique that he learned to impress his wife, Leanne, on like, when he got back. And, like, he was able to relax his wife. And then, like, his tour bus shows up. And he's like, I'm going to be on tour for three weeks. I got to go. I love you. Bye. Like, he didn't accomplish a darn thing he set out to do. But I think he legitimately, I'm pretty sure that was all premeditated. Like, I think he is going to try. I mean, I shouldn't say that. He definitely learned some stuff. And he is going to try and take what he learned with him on tour. At least that was the point of, you know, how the series ended. So, you know, there's that. But, again, in spite of all the craziness that was going on, I gotta say, I really did learn a lot from, you know, watching it. 
And, you know, sometimes you just gotta go to a place and isolate yourself for a little while and enjoy yourself and relax. I mean, personally, if I wanna do that, I'll probably go to like Cuba Lake or something. Although speaking of places that I'd rather go to find, to find my happy place, Rita's is opening up today. Man, this is gonna be the best Fan Tuesday ever. Um, but uh, yeah, happy first day of March, happy Fat Tuesday, happy first day of Rita's. Like, you know, if you wanna eat yourself breakfast for dinner, that's the usual fare. So um, yeah. Have a blast. It's Fat Tuesday. It's Mardi Gras, man. Have some fun. I mean, there are people like doing fancy parades in New Orleans, man. And bead throwing and what happens after the bead throwing. I'm not, I should probably stop before it gets a little bit raunchy. Like, favorite, chance to subscribe button, find me on social media, for each of you. I'm Barry Helm, ladies and gentlemen, for all of you guys watching, your video. Hopefully, a wonderful, wonderful Fat Tuesday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to Chad, most of you here to let me know. Always have your back. Take care and make good choices. Have a nice day, everyone.